Joe Gisetti felt you through the ball really well today with the exception of that fifth inning. Are you surprised the way things unraveled so quickly there in the fifth? Um, no, I mean, you know, I got the infield single and then the punt. Um, felt, felt like I made some good pitches to get two outs and then, uh, you know, just didn't make a good pitch to Corey. Um, you know, I think a changeup or a two-seamer there uh, would be a better pitch to try to get the first pitch swinging, um, get that out, and, you know, just left a fastball cut back over the middle of the plate and he put a good swing on it. Frustrating is it to have an ending like that after you pitched pretty well the previous four? It's frustrating. Um, it just is what it is. You know, like I said, I mean, I make pitches to, to get the two outs and I, I need to just finish the inning. You know, is that at replay of the call was overturned, also the, the bunt where nobody covered there, kind of some things out of your control that inning? Yeah, I mean, the replay is what it is. You know, he was safe. Um, you know, the bunt, you know, B Rob's playing up the middle. Um, you know, he's got cover in second base with me, you know, turning double play and trying to get over to first. It's just a lot, you know. So just one of those plays where, you know, you just got to eat it. Like I said, I mean, I made, made good pitches to get to, to two outs. Um, you know, gave up a run, but, you know, I need to make. Um, better pitches to finish that inning and, and put us in a position to, to be leading, you know, after that inning. When you go into the fifth season, you have two nothing. How how confident are you that you're gonna finish, you know, get the win and, and finish your job? Uh, I'm always confident. You know, even you know, like I said, with you know, getting the, the bases loaded, you know, I'm just thinking, make a pitch and, and trying to, you know, damage control. But like I said, I mean, you know, I just got to make a better pitch with Corey right there. This is it weird facing Robbie. No, not for me, um, because I faced him before. Come in here, so um, you know if I would have played with him like Grady, where I, you know, played with him my whole career, and then you know I had to, you know, you know, not facing him before. So um, you know, I'm kind of familiar with him, I guess, if that makes sense. So not really. At all surprised by the fans' reaction to him? No. Were you? I thought they might have been nicer. No. This is New York. I mean, it is what it is. You know, um, he left to make a best, better decision for him and his family. Got you know a ten-year contract. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, people are gonna be mad either way. So, um, you know, for him, I know he's just going out and trying to play. For us, I don't think it's that surprising. Did you talk to him at all? Or are you pitching? No, I haven't talked to him. Yet. I guess we've seen other fans. You know, in Boston, they did a video. Kobe did get booed, but then he also got cheered. Here, it just seemed to be kind of a... Well, we didn't do a video. Would you like to have seen some type of commemoration? It's out of my control. you got to ask somebody else that has control over that. Was it the conditions? I know it was a little chilly and wet out there. Did that have any effect on you at all tonight? No. I mean, I pitched in, you know, worse than this playing in Cleveland forever. So, um, you know, I'm kind of used to it. <laughs>